Welcome to the Tommy Sandu podcast. You're loving it, aren't you? Well, guess what? I've got another great chat coming your way. This one is with Tina Ahuja, the daughter of Bollywood royalty, Govinda. Uh, but she's an artist and a talent in her own right. It must always be a bit weird. I always think it must be strange being the, the son or daughter of a big star. Um, but Tina seems to be dealing with it really well. She's carving her own path. Uh, she's been dancing around in music videos recently. Uh, and she's up to all sorts, which she's going to tell us all about. Here is the brilliant, up and coming, well and truly known, a star, Tina Ahuja. Hi, Good Tina Ahuja. Good what's up? Hi. <laughs> How's it going? You all right? It's going fabulous. I just had a fabulous lunch, so I'm like feeling really relaxed and really happy about it. <laughs> what, what, what makes a fabulous lunch? What, what was so fabulous about it, Tina? So, you know, it was quite a thought while I was having my lunch. I think I have two sides of me. Uh, one side of me is very Punjabi, which is very paratha and uh, you won't believe I had paneer and paratha. And I was just thinking to myself while having my lunch, I'm like, oh my God, I think I have two sides. So basically, it is like one side of me is like, I love paratha, I love saag, I love the whole that side of it. And the other side of me is totally into pastas and pizzas and all of that. <laughs> no, but, but they're all very similar, you see, because it's carbohydrates, number one, right? Yeah. Pizza, pasta. I'm a saying... carb queen. I love carbs. Literally, I can like eat carbs like every day. But obviously, oh. because of my diet, I have to like avoid them a lot. <laughs> Do you? Because if you're, tra but you look like you train. So you, if you're training, then it doesn't really matter, does it? No, it does. I mean, uh, I have to restrict my carbs, um, you know, like the amount of carbs I'm having a day. So I see to it that I have only 100 grams of carbs. But today I, because there was paratha made at home, so I ended up having two small parathas. No, shame <laughs> on you. Shame on you. See, already, can you see what you did there, Tina? You shifted the blame to someone else. Oh, because parathas were being made, you know, like, oh, you know, because there was this drug factory downstairs and they're producing these illegal substances. But you know, we always require these kind of small things that kind of, you know, make us tell that, you know, oh, you know, because this happened and because that happened, I couldn't do this. No, it's but not, I had a fabulous much. leg day yesterday. So, uh, you know, I'm allowed to kind of cheat because leg days are always fun. So yesterday oh was a God. good leg day and... Um, Today is like a good, nice carb day and a nice interview with you. <laughs> when does your leg day pain kick in? Because for me, it's not the next day. It's the day after the next day. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, you know when you... Sorry, Tina, we're going to get very intimate very quickly here. Yeah. You know when you go to sit down on the toilet and then you lose control and you, and you just drop that last eight inches because you're like... <laughs> My legs can't hold me at that angle. They can get me to a, a, a slight angle. And then I'm like, I hope the toilet's there. And I hope it catches me. Do you know, what I mean? you know no, that so, so for with me, it's I think it's more of like um, the next day. So today I was just like, you know, getting ready for the whole thingy. And literally I was like, you know, I think I need to go to a spa. I literally called up the spa. I asked them, that, listen, do you all have something in the late in the night? Like I can come in. But yeah, it's always a next day for me. Like my calves, okay. my glutes, everything is like totally numb. <laughs> yeah. hey, but, but well done. So what, what, this is this is just what? The training that goes with being a star. Is that what it is? You know, you're out there, you, people are photographing. You Is it is that why you've got to do it? Or, or do you do it to you kind of secretly love it as well? So, you know, uh, a few years back, it used to be because I have to do this and because I have to be clicked and because I am so-and-so's daughter. But mm -hmm. off late, Oh, are you someone's daughter? Who's? Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I have two Indian parents. Actually, oh, okay. my mom's half Nepalese. please. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so, you know, a few years back, it used to be like that, that it is because I have to be clicked and because I have to look in a certain way for this particular party or something. But off late, um, you know, I think it's because the whole COVID thing happened. Off late, it's become more of a personal thing for me. Like, it's more of end of friends, more of feel good factor. More of like uh, looking good and feeling good inside. Yeah, I'm that's, always, that's I'm, a change. Yeah, I'm always amazed sometimes, you know, when you're busy and you're running around and you go and have a workout, you have a run, how you can get clarity back. You know, like it's amazing what a workout yeah. can do. It's more do. like a therapy for me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and then that it's that bit that's addictive because sometimes you're like, uh, life's this, that is pulling you in different directions. And then you have a workout, you're like, oh, I can, I get it now. I can deal yeah, with it now. Absolutely. Yes. I, I think, I think when I don't work out, I have a bad day. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's, At least some then, breath work, some cardio is good enough. Like I'm good to yeah. go. Yeah, but you got to do that before the pranta. Because if I had to, if I had pranta and paneer, number one, I'd be asleep now. Because and I and I can't say no. So I can't say no after one and a half, two. I'll go. Well, let's just have four or five and just <laughs> write, just write ourselves off completely. So so how many did you have? No, I I had very small. Um, it was not a proper paratha, but it was more like a bajra paratha, which is like another which is quite doable. So I had two of that, and I had a uh, hundred and. 50 grams of paneer with that and a little bit of wow. um, Indian curry. <laughs> <laughs> Properly measured out. It's amazing. And, and how, you said lockdown. How, how are you in lockdown? How is the family? How is everyone? Are you like, because obviously I feel like, you know, in the nicest possible way, you're a little bit behind us with the lockdown kahani because our, our you know, we've now popped out the other side. Life's kind of resuming. I was in the cinema last night. You know, like wow. we're getting a little bit back to normal, but when I hear conversations of what's happening in India, you're still very much l- locked down. People are Mari at home. Bahut piche hai aap se. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, you know how like it's sometimes... True. So, you know, yeah. I, had been, I had been like having a word with my friends and everyone in London. So we were like, you know, when it initially happened, it was like, uh, you know, everyone was like, Are, kya ho you know, what's happening? Oh, what is the situation there? So, you know, this was there. But uh, your things, yeah, it's not that easy going the way it is. And I just hope and I pray that the theatres open up because I really miss going to the theatres. But um, things are better. We are working. We are, I'm busy with work, my work. We're traveling. And yeah, we've just take, I've just taken my first shot. So I can't travel abroad right now. Right. But very soon. Yeah, no, and that's exactly it. Get get the double get the double vaccination in. Yeah. So or or, or or yeah, exactly. So the biggest concern, a lot of concerns here, are for people's parents. And I'm not just saying because we know who your parents are, but how are your parents and how are grandparents or the elders in the family? You know, it is same. It is same. You know, in fact, I I remember it. It was such a stressful moment for me because at one time my father got COVID, my mom got uh, tested positive. So they were like, you know, like my dad was in the bungalow and my mom was in the flats. And at the same time, my nani and my mama also got COVID. So it was like, oh my God, everyone's like tested positive. So it was that, you know, that I think it was April, around April, May, that that whole period was very difficult. But I always knew this crucial pass. So it it, it went off decent and I'm grateful to God. Nothing major happened because my nani is almost in her late 70s. So that was a little stressful part for me. See, uh, Tina, what do you think about this? This is a random theory of mine, not backed up by any medical knowledge or expertise. But I swear, being Punjabi can help. Meaning, coming from a stock of good diet, you know, we've our people down the line have oh, eaten. I think you'll have to just repeat your question. Oh, did it freeze? We'll pick up. Now that's frozen for me. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I'll pick that up again. Can you hear me now, yes. Tina? Yes. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about this, but I swear, if you're from Punjabi stock, right, that helps. Oh, it's cutting in and out quite a lot, isn't it? It's cutting in and out. And Tina's frozen. Tina, you'd frozen for me. I'm going to pick that up one more time. We'll try again. Okay. I'm pretty sure that being Punjabi gives you a little bit of an advantage with overcoming COVID. Because I swear, if you've got good stock, if you've had good diet, if you're nice and healthy, you've lived outdoors, a good living... That surely puts your nanny and your parents and everybody else in, 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 in a better position, doesn't it? Absolutely. And I think, you know, what the best thing happened in this entire time, I got to know a lot of natural remedies, you know, to keep your immunity system high. And, uh, you know, I was like doing a lot of breath work, yoga classes for all of that. But, uh, you know, the only thing that was very common in the whole Punjabi thing that happened was having good jaggery like a piece of jaggery and uh, I was having milk with a little bit of a pinch of haldi, turmeric. So, so again, okay, now I was just going to ask you about that because around, around here, every Desi person, no matter what corner of South Asian country you're from, had a remedy. And it often involved haldi. And then there was ginger this and then I was just hoping there was, is there not any alternative? But in milk, you put yours in milk. Ours is in, in hot water, honey, ginger, Haldi, that kind of thing. It's so basic. Yeah, I, I know about that also. That was like called the kada. 
But uh, I oops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm it's so a, so sorry. I, I think your phone just got COVID. That's what it was. I know. It, 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 I know. He or probably my phone just bored out this whole conversation of COVID. Like he's like every time she's just taking the phone and talking about COVID to people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so with us, um, I personally love. Uh, having milk and not the whole kara things and all of that so i had almond milk with um, a little bit of haldi every night and that's got to be good for the voice as well as a singer that can't be a bad thing yeah it's nice it's nice but okay. i don't sing professionally so it's fine you you don't sing professionally but you got a song you've got a song you've got songs out but you don't yeah. you don't see this is interesting you got songs out but i'm not a professional singer no that's just <laughs> that's, that's not real work that's just a bit of fun. No, no, but the, the thing is that I personally enjoy, um, I think, you know, the more you think about all these things in life, like, oh, what's going to happen, the more you fear, the more you attract. So it's better to kind of just focus on the good side. The more you fear, the more you attract. Is that what you said? Like, so what? Like, yeah. the more you fear something, the something more... Something you attract more of that. I personally believe in that. Yeah. Because you, you... Oh, so are you all... um? Are you all into how you fit into the universe? Do you think about you as a little energy ball and how it all works? <laughs> oh my God. A little bit. Yeah. But not that I think of me as an energy ball or something, but yeah, I do believe that um, you've got to believe in yourself. I do believe in uh, having a positive mindset, having your, you know, positive affirmations. Okay, let me ask you this though, because I, I'm a positive person. I'm very naturally positive, and I'm, I know you are as well. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to be a little bit devil's advocate here, okay? Positive people, you know, we're dreamers. You're a dreamer, uh, Tina Ahuja. Who do you think you are, Miss Positivity, Miss Govinda's daughter, Miss, oh, everything's going to be great because I'm just going to be positive? No, we've got to be realistic, Tina. Realistic. You've got to have a backup plan, Tina. You've got to make sure that if it doesn't work out, what are you going to do, Tina? So what do you do with all those people, all those kind of comments? Um, you can't block them out. because That, we that is to... quite an interesting thing, uh, though. But then, you know, at such situations, I always try to focus on all the things to be grateful for. Right. You have to. You have to see from where you've started until how far you've come. And if from there you've come here, you know, things can be a little more easier rather than this so-called devil pulling you down. <laughs> Yeah. So I personally feel it's very important to be grateful for everything. You know, the minute you kind of, I personally, when I kind of shake or I feel I have a bad, I have a bad day or something, I see to it. I focus on all the good in my life. Okay, is that a luck shake or any kind of shake? What kind of shake when you shake? Do you what part of you shake? You say when you have a little, when you have a little wobbly day, is that what you say? And you kind of you bring it back. You focus uh -huh. on the positive. You focus on what's going well. That, but again, Tina, I swear, I'm, I'm going to say it. I think it's easier said than done. It's easier. It's not easy to go. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Because you inside, you're just yeah. But you've got to be easy angry. with yourself as well. You can't just be like all the time. So every day is not going to be positive. Every day is not going to go the way you want it to go. So you have got to like learn to accept, and you be like, okay, fine. This is fine. I mean. This too shall pass, right? Even if you get success, that too shall pass. You have to embrace that moment. Where, where do you get this from? Where's this wisdom come from? Well, I mean, because... <laughs> this wisdom? No, because... Actually, because... you know what happened with me? I met with an accident recently. Uh, so what happened? I, I remember I finished one event which had more than two, 3,000 people around. And I was like in this different spirit. Like I was like, oh my God, I've done it, this, that. You know, like 3,000 plus people coming to see me, my event, Yevo. Next day, I was getting my makeup done for my next event. And while getting the makeup done, I just had the worst fall on this wall. Like literally for one, one and a half month, I was on bed. And that's when all these things came out to be like, okay, fine. You don't what? have to be so hard to yourself. It's what? going to pass huh? all, it's fine. Hold on, what, 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 happened, what happened in the fall? I mean, what, what was the fall? How, how, how did you so do it? So basically, I was just sitting on this uh, couch or this sofa, this table, like in a small sofa to get my makeup done. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, I lost my balance and the whole sofa went down. So I, I fell flat like that. So it, literally, my entire shoulder, my neck, 
my head it was it was the worst one month of my life literally and that <laughs> it was after my song getting that whole uh, publicity and that whole uh, you know we ha- i had like almost eight events lined up post the release of my song and everything got cancelled oh man it, look, it, it sounds painful tina but it's also it sounds- horrible i used to literally cry because i was getting work and i and my mom was like what's wrong i said no i can't because i can't even walk i couldn't even walk it was that bad Ma- but there's not many people that can fall over while sitting down that's no so basically you know example this was the sofa right i instead of sitting down on the thingy i tried to sit up on the edge side. On the top yeah, edge, on the bit, edge, yeah. So this the whole thing went down like that. So oh it's, man! It's that bad. I, 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 and then you know, you can. It's very easy, and I know I've had knee injuries and this and that. You're kind of bedridden well, for a that. bit. You've done that. You got it. You got it. Yeah, that. you know when you have ACL and stuff for your crucial ligaments and all that kind of stuff, and 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 you're in bed for like weeks at a time, or or at least several days at a time. It's easily said, like, oh, I was in bed for six weeks, but that is. That that's the depressing. worst. That's oh the my. worst. That's like the worst, darkest side. Like you can ever go through. Oh. Because I personally love going for my morning walks. Mm. I enjoy traveling. I love um, my workouts a lot. And all of a sudden, I couldn't even literally go for a walk for thirty minutes. It was that bad. So it was oh, like you know, suddenly like going up and then. Yeah, and like you said. Oh, it's frozen a bit for me as well. I'm going to make sure Tina's not frozen. No. Oh, are you frozen? You're back? I don't know. There you go. There you go. See, but when that happens as well, you just said yourself, you were so busy. You were, things were happening. You're you're on the go. You're on the move. You're doing all promotional stuff. And that comes along. I don't know. See, I tend to, I I couldn't help but think, oh, is the universe trying to send me a message like, hey, you got to slow down or this is not for you. No, probably that time I was just thinking I just want to get out of this mess and start working out. <laughs> I was yeah. sick and tired of being on the bed. I personally love working. I personally love getting out. And for me, sitting at home and um, you know uh, having this constant pain was the most irritating thing. Uh, to be honest, I'm not that much into the whole um, universe thing and all of that. But yeah, at that time, my focus was only to get rid of this entire pain. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but l- let me take you back to when you just said you're not a professional singer. But does that mean you enjoy your work so much that it doesn't feel like singing is work? Because you no, went, oh, but I, I didn't it. sing the song. I just of course you're, the song. You're, you're done. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're, you're shaking around to luck shake as I was well. You're just right. shaking around. I was having fun. I yeah. uh, even even my last song. I was blessed. My first music video was uh, you know with Lataji. Uh, the Melona Tom had Lataji's voice, so that was like a dream, because your first song and having such a big legend's voice for you, it was like an absolute honor for me. But yeah, I have fun. I just I I'm not like a, I'm not a singer. No. So maybe no, no. I can sing, but later, not now. Oh, so it could be something, you know, maybe down the line, get get in a few little vocal sessions. Maybe. What do you, what do you listen to? What is what was the last song being played right now for uh, you know your work? Because you you have certain workout tunes. Are they, like, you know, I have yeah, I have really been attracted to this song called Lover by Dilji Dosanjh. Oh yeah, yeah. I love that song. It's got such a good vibe. Yeah. <laughs> so is is and is that a chill song? It's a kind of laid back song. No, it's more like a work. Like it's more like a. a to go like a uh, song in the sense like if I'm like I remember I was going for the shoot of Super Dancer with my dad and I was like listen there's this new song I have to make you listen to so he's like haha okay okay laga do so that is like a song that pecks me up I like these kind of music yeah we need a little lift up and exactly that and particularly in lockdown it's like where you know where do you get your little joys from apart from a little workout are you are you are you a Netflix person are you sitting there getting through box sets and series and all that. So you know, uh, I think the only things that I did was working out, um, having lots of conversation with family and friends on Zoom. Yeah, yeah, I have done that. I can literally chit chat for hours. So I've done that. Like literally, I I I have done all these Zoom calls and everything. Yeah. I've learned to cook a little bit, a little bit. Uh, I'm very passionate about learning to cook, but I don't. I just don't get the time to do it. But I'll do it yeah. one day. I'll, I'll learn yeah. how to cook properly. 
and what else i did um yeah i watched a lot of good movies which i missed out on i did that and uh, that's about it it was more like a school holiday for me to be honest go down go for your walk come back yeah. play come back eat go to sleep but then like like, like cuz obviously i just kind of can't help but think people like yourself and even like your whole family there'll be so many engagements and parties and people to see and dinners and functions and turn up here and you got to be there that's all just i mean for all of us it's kind of changed but for your average person who's getting up and doing a 9 to 5 job and comes home and spends time in the home in the evening their diary is very different to to your diary or your family's diary yeah that's an, it's more extreme for you because you take and also people like yourself like me you know we love people we want to be around people you i want to do shows for 3000 6000 10000 people um you know i'm hosting concerts i'm hosting a few concerts coming up for gary sandu and people like this thing and then you're like all oh, right it's going to be 10000 people and i can't wait yeah but you, if you take that away from people like you it's like you're taking away your drug it's like you're taking away your fix yeah it's true it was quite it was quite um I think that's when your family and your friends keep you motivated because I remember a lot of my colleagues also they had lots of plans with me and we together had also planned a lot of things that you know we have to do this 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 and all that and everything went haywire but um, you know, they keep you motivated that okay fine it's going to pass but yeah it was kind of quite annoying because a person like me who likes to travel who who's doing events who is uh, meeting new people it was but it just went off i mean i just learning new things i was I, actually it gave me a good time to actually lose and tone tone up my body <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I always feel a bit funny picking up on it, but I was going to say, compared to when I sort of last seen pictures of you, Imdi, you look a lot leaner. So, and I know that it's not easy; it's hard. It was very difficult. So I used to, yeah, it was very. I mean, it was difficult, no doubt, because you know the kind of background you come from, and then you you'll have every second, third day there's a party happening, and then you have to control on a diet. That's very depressing for a girl like me who's like a proper foodie kind of a thing. But yeah, in this whole lockdown, I've just taken care of myself. I've just done everything that I enjoy. I've watched movies, and uh, you know, I also did a little bit of charity work also, which I don't discuss much about. But uh, yeah, I've been busy with all of that. Good on you. But what do you um? Where do you miss traveling? Wise, I was just going to say because obviously London, you sound like you, you... obviously London. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like. It's like home to me. It's like you know, literally, I love that place. It's London, Dubai, everywhere. I yeah. even, even, even for that matter, literally, even going to Punjab. So basically, I have this thing that I celebrate my birthday uh, in Punjab every year. So last year I couldn't go. This year I was very much there. But even if it's going to Punjab or Kolkata or Delhi, you know, we have. it just froze again sorry you said or going to delhi and then i saw i got so yeah, i mean after that I, i mean i just miss everything oh. it, it, i can see you being we started again so oh sorry I'm sorry cuz it's freezing and i never know there yeah. okay delhi <laughs> tell me about delhi you said even delhi sorry so you were saying no so but yeah but now it's good it started again we started with our work we started traveling again i was off late also in punjab I'm back in Bombay and I'll be traveling again. So it's good. It's good. I'm fine. <laughs> so so it feels like Punjab is kind of like where your heart is. Bombay is where the I life, the, the scene, yeah, and living and day to day. You you're a traveler at heart. You clearly got a bit of London UK vibes going on. I think you'd fit in great here. Um but what about I can see you being a bit of a backpacker. I reckon you you'll rough it. You'll take a backpack, you'll just be you can go through Vietnam or somewhere random like that and just go you think that about me i think that about of i think course, you got it yeah in fact you know i have been you know literally off late i've been getting these offers to kind of um, do something of that sort very much there in my mind because i am that kind of person i can just be one place your second place. and that's like in my to do list that yeah. there is this one thing i want to do breakfast your lunch your and then dinner your and i hope that's going to happen by next year i hope things get better and i'm going to do that It would be so easy for you to be a little princess, you know what I mean? But but that you know, but you're not. I think I think you're a bit of a 
there's probably a bit of a now nah, I've got a, I don't know if you've got a little point to prove or whatever, but it's like now nah, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it myself. I'm a bit independent. I'm going to do my thing. Nobody stop me. You, you know, like, you're, you know, you're, <laughs> oh not my God, a, you're like projecting, like literally predicting so many things for me. <laughs> But is it? But I, I feel that about you. I feel like because you know you never know oh, whether Govinda's daughter or any actor's daughter is going to be you know have lived a privileged life and you got all those things. But I think you're there's a little fighter in you, isn't there? I don't know. I just feel I don't know. That's something that you've noticed right now. I think I'm just me. <laughs> yeah. But but there's no um there's no airs and graces about you. If I feel like that's what I mean, you could you could probably backpack it, travel, rough it. You'd be I'm sorry, I missed your question. I missed your question. Yeah. I don't think there's any airs and graces around you, meaning that you could probably just, you'd chit a chatter with anybody, you know, yeah. if you were, yeah. I, mean, I have been like that. I mean, since childhood, I was like that only. I have never had these um, Eddie tantrums of having that kind of a family and that kind of a thing. I've never had that. So I'm very yeah. Why do you want so much of attention for no reason? Just be yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, so where are you at right now, Tina? Where's your head at? How are you with you and life? Because I, I do think weird. I know, sorry to go on about COVID and lockdown, but lockdown made the world stop. And it sort of turns the mirror back on yourself and goes, well, what are you doing? Where are you going? What do you want? Where are things at? So, you know, wh where are things at for you? What, what do you kind of, what do you do? Or, or are you quite content? No. So basically, uh, you know, I have um, been working with my dad since 2017 and I had also had a company which handles his costumes and his, his, so basically a person like me, I cannot sit at home. I, and I'm, and I'm quite open about it. Like I need to have something or the other going on, whether it's, even if it's like a family function is there, it should be something should like my brain should be active. I can't just be like sitting so I have been so basically after my first film I kind of like was quite fat in that movie and it took me some time to reduce my weight so that time I was like what do I do I started working with my dad I'm Friday was the first film I worked with him and when I was the HOD for his department and I was doing the costumes for his film so coincidentally uh dad has been working on a lot of tv shows and he's doing back to back to reality shows as a judge so my company is handling all of that plus after finishing your interview I have another endorsement shoot like so you know like things have been like touch wood i have something or the other happening around me so you know i have a company where we are doing his costumes we are doing um, different stuff there I have my own acting thing. If I think something is nice, I want Two, three months, I am so exhausted with all of this that I just want to go somewhere. I just want to take a break and just be out of Bombay. <laughs> So, and that's, that's your mindset. That's how you would work then. So you'd kind of go work, 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 work. I'm done. See ya. And I'll be Absolutely. back. Absolutely. I, you know, when I was, when I was, you know, I remember when I was a little kid. Like, how do I say malls? And, you know, he should always be asking these things that, you know, what do I do to regenerate myself? So I should wonder, what is he trying to say? That time I didn't even know what's the meaning of regeneration, to be honest. So like, what is he trying to say? Now I've understood that, you know, after some time to yourself to just get yourself back. And then when you're back to Bombay, you can again get back there. That, that rest is very important. Yeah. I, I'm going to share a little phrase, a little uh, um, kind of mindset thought process that someone said to me. And you'll, you'll maybe relate with this as a Punjabi. Um, is, is, is the fallow fields thing. Do you know about fallow fields? Does that term ring a bell for farming, right? Uh -huh. yeah. So with, with fallow fields, you have, you have your jameen, right? And, you're right? and you're growing stuff on one jameen, but you're resting this one to let all the nutrients replenish. So you keep some things ticking along, but you rest that little bit of the field and then you swap it around. And I think you're, you do the same thing. You're like, I'm growing some, I'm growing some. I'm like, right, whoosh, let's rest the field. Let's go get our nutrients back, fallow fields, and we'll come back and we'll grow a good crop. Yeah, and good. you know, to, to put that, I've just been traveling to Punjab. <laughs> there you because go. I can't travel anywhere. <laughs> I've just been doing to my friend. Yeah. 
<laughs> but that's okay. See, that's why you're. I love it. I'm proud. I'm proud of it. I love, yeah. I love it. So okay. So who are your fertilizers? So I'm trying to go with the same analogy. Who who are the people that enrich you? Who are your who are your nearest and dearest? Let's give a shout out to the Tina's friends. Is it family? Is it who, who is? It's definitely my friends. Always have been my friends. Definitely my friends because and you know coincidentally I don't have much friends in the industry. I don't know much people personally in the industry. But why I not? Why not? You must have met them. You must have met them all. Of course, yeah, I have met them. I mean, uh, we used to meet in birthday parties in childhood, but then you know, not anymore. Like in the sense, I have friends. We, I have a good, respectful relationship with everyone, but not that I have like friends or anything. And I'm and I'm okay about it. So I enjoy that. Also. Yeah. Um, and are these friends? Sorry, you're cutting in and out again. I don't know if it's again. I don't know if it's just me. There you go. You're back. Are your are your close friends like friends from school, from from college, friends from the area? How how do you know them? No, they are like uh, yeah, they are my teen friends. Um, they are my um, not really childhood friends, but yeah, yeah, I do have um, some childhood friends, but they are there in London. But uh, most of them are my teen, you know, those teenage friends, and. Um, I have some friends whom you know you kind of meet, you know, while working or you know while traveling, that sort of thing. Yeah. Who's the insane friend? There's always one insane friend. The one that you can when they turn up, things are gonna go crazy. They're gonna you're gonna party hard. You know, that the friend that brings out the wild side. You've got you gotta have one friend like that. Yes, I do have. <laughs> you're, you're picturing her or him. Him <laughs> yeah. or her, right? What you wanna give him a shout out? The initials just gotta go, you know. You can, who who is the party friend? Oh, that definitely has to be Money and Kyle. Money and who? Kyle. <laughs> you know, Money and oh, Kyle. Basically, he's Karan Deep, but his, you know, how we all have our pet names. Hello. It's Kyle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but but Money and Kyle. That sounds like a TV show. It's like, oh, what are you watching? <laughs> oh, on Netflix, I'm watching Money and Kyle. It's great. Oh, they're gonna be so happy. They're from your country. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. They're getting bigger. They're from your so, city. They're from London. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. They're, I'll, I'll, you know what? Surprise, surprise! They're here right now. Money and Kyle, come on in. No, no, they're not. They're not here right now. But it'd be, it'd be great if they were. Oh, I missed me. your message. I, I missed your. Uh, no, I was just. I was trying to. Are you there? You frozen? Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for you to come into image because you're frozen on my screen. So I don't. I never have that. You can. I can. I, I, you're frozen in one place. I don't. There you go. There you go. Now you move it. Okay. I was just being silly. I go. Money and Carla here right now. Come on in, Money and Carl. Yeah, it's a surprise for you. No, they're not. They're not here, so don't worry. But um, but what what? Well, tell me about your London life then. Okay, you hook up with your London friends. What, what do you, where do you like going around London town? Oh, you know, I've had the most craziest times there. So basically, I remember my first when I went came to London. I was eighteen, and I was staying there all alone, and I was staying at the Mayfair. So I remember oh, taking. No. You know, I used to love doing one thing. I used to get lost. Purposely, I used to get lost. So I used to, you know, so basically, if I have to go to, like, you know, from Mayfair to some other place, you know, yeah. maybe uh, if I'm going towards, you know, I had certain family friends in Slough also. So you okay. have to purposely get lost. We all have. Yeah. Uh, every, every, have everybody, by the way, everybody's got family in Slough. Slough yeah. is where the Punjabi community are. I know. Right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah so, right. so, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't this thing also because I have uh, even um, seen movies at the Queen's Men. So I'm quite okay about it. So I I do I embrace those moments of my life. Literally, I have with, with my friend. I told you know I I've, I've bribed the ticket person and we've been like you know she's some actress from Arab. So you know he's like okay fine you're getting free tickets from us and we watched Akshay Akshay Kumar's movies apparently. So we have done all of that. I embrace my um, time spent in Slough. It's fine. I'm I'm like very very cool about it. So yeah, yeah Queens Bear and um, you know there used to be these different um, lounges. We used to go for shisha, but now I don't do shisha anymore. So um, I used to get lost. I used to you know like you know from Bond Street to Leicester, yeah. then from Regent's uh, Station to you know uh, Piccadilly. So I used to, I used to love doing that. I don't know like you know I and I totally love uh, the Leicester Square in the night, the Soho, yeah. the Leicester Square. Just walk, just have fun, doing all of that. 
I, I, I was there last night. I was in Leicester Square last night. Um, wow, watching, I miss yeah, it. Th there's, a, there's a new film out, this, The Saints of Newark, which is a prequel to The Sopranos. Um, but they were doing that. And as soon as I came out, I was like, you know what I love about London is if I wanted to go to like a Soprano-style Italian restaurant, you could do that. You want to go to a club, you could do that. You want to go Shisha or Edgware Road. Exactly, yeah. I, you know, I, I do have had so many good memories at Edgware Road. Like, you know, you know, having shawarmas and having yeah. Shisha, but now no Shisha and nothing. I've just <laughs> stopped doing that. <laughs> there, is a, there is a food theme that runs through everything, isn't there? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> totally. I totally agree to that. I totally agree <laughs> to that. Um, okay, so so let's fast forward. COVID's over. Lockdown's done. W you know, where's the first, okay, apart from London, w w where's the first place you go? W w who do you want to see? What do you want to go hook up and, you know, and do? Yeah, so there's there are these two countries, I, two, two cities I really want to go to. One is LA and mm. one is New York. Never done it? Never done LA? Never done New York Done before? it, but I was, uh, so, you know, not boosting, but uh, New York I went to because my dad was doing something in the Indian something, you know, he was like... Um, a chief guest sort of a thing so that was like i was very small so you know like what very very special. yeah so i don't remember i just remember the disney store there in new york <laughs> yeah. so i just remember that and in la again i just remember the universal studio but now that i have a lot of friends of mine who've shifted to la and then even the way they've been telling me about the life in la so i'm like okay fine i want to go there <laughs> You know, you know, I think I can fit that. What is it about the sunshine, the beach, and the beautiful people that make you think that you could fit in so well in LA? Hmm. I don't know. I think just being me and just having fun. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to fit in anywhere. You just need to be yourself. And and are you are you a clubber? Do you do you enjoy clubs, party, dancing? I love I love dancing. I just yeah. love dancing. I I mean I can I I love going to new new clubs. I love checking out new restaurants. I love doing all of that. <laughs> Look at that. You just want to live. You're just laughing, looking at me. You're no, just, I tell you. She loves. <laughs> no, because I tell you what I'm thinking is someone like you, because I think you're an embracer. You just seem to like, like you want to, you're enjoying life. You, you're doing things. You're mixing people. You've got your, your positive attitude towards life. You're quite grounded. You're down to earth. I just think there's, there's a, there's almost like a blog or a TV show or a podcast in you. Wow, going I, I would love to. I would love what? to. Do, I mean, could, I always tell people that I would love to do something like a TV show or a podcast. I would love yeah. to do it. Then, and hello, what's stopping you? Well, all the other million things you're doing probably. I, you, know, I, 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 you know, there's something that I was just telling my dad. My dad is like, so there are some people who kind of um, are very good in, um, so for example, like I cannot take the technical side. Like I cannot, uh, I need someone to arrange it for me and I'll just be an, I'll be the bomb there. Yeah, okay. That that's that you know the arrangement is something I'm just like yeah. not good at. <laughs> Trust me, that, that's why we all need producers and, and people yeah, to handle. That's yeah, exactly like, what I meant. We, we are grateful to you, producers. We're at the hands and the mercy of them all, all the time. Thank you. We're grateful. Um, now, and, 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 and just before we kind of wrap on up, I just, how is how is your dad? How is your mom? How uh, are they? Where are they now physically? Where are, you're in Mumbai now? So yeah. where, where would mum and dad be? Are they are they in the house? No, they're in. Calc no? They're, they're in. in Colcott. Uh, what's in? Sorry, I don't. What, what's in Colcott? Is that another place? Another yeah, home? Yeah, it's, it's another. It's another city. It's called Colcott. No, 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 again, I, one of my. It's, it's I one know. Of my... Sorry, I just want to say I know what Kolkata is as a city. What I was saying was, do do you? Can you like? It's okay, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> so, man, how <laughs> bad so is this? No, but how bad is this guy's geography? He doesn't know. Or oh, where's Kolkata? Is that in Mumbai? No, I know it's another place. But what I mean is, what are they doing there? Do they? Yeah. Is there another so family home? I told there? you about now. Like he's doing uh, right now. He's shooting for his um, reality show. He's doing a hmm. reality show, and the shooting is happening in Calcutta. So in the morning we had his trials, we had his fittings. Now he's in Calcutta. He's going to be shooting there for a few days, and then he'll come back. So I have okay. got like I've got uh, three days. Not really rest period, but uh, I've got three days cooler, so I'm going to do like party this week. But, isn't, it, isn't it weird? Um, does, does, does your dad, because he's, he's your dad, but now he's also your client or you're his client, whichever way around that relationship no, works. he's my client. <laughs> okay, he's your client. Like, then your client can give you feedback, like, you know, I'm not happy about this, 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 and this, no, and you're I like, oh. Almost, I get that very often. I get that very often. I'm used to it now. I mean, yeah. in the sense, it is as bad, 
you know it's as bad when you feel when a normal client would say that to you but in a way it's good like you know at least he's not pampering me and not making yeah. me realize my mistakes and uh, he keeps oh. me on my toes it's yeah. not it's not that he's like you know okay fine i'm your, his daughter i can do things at my pace i can come on the sets at this time it's fine no i have to be there i i, I imagine he's um yeah, he's quite real as a dad. I don't know. Real and also I think uh, the best thing what has happened in this whole thing is that I've understood how much hard work it took him to be where he is and you kind of you know then you you kind of enjoy that moment what you get to work with mm-hmm. him and yeah he's actually not that I get everything very easily. No. Yeah. No, nah, no so it's going to be quite the opposite actually because you'll probably have to work doubly hard to kind of prove things and it comes what well, it comes I'm sure it comes with its own conditions and all sorts um what, what what's um what what's his phrase or what what like because my dad you know there's certain phrases growing up he'd always kind of go look don't worry just be happy then he'd sing the song don't worry because uh-huh. he'd like look relax you know like just just enjoy life he'd want me to be happy he'd, he'd encourage my dad encouraged me to dance he said always does and obviously you know we, we all in our house we had your dad on the screen the whole time so the dancing oh, really? fun. of course of course he's you know govinda's name is is part of the, the fabric of us of the sandu clan <laughs> um but but what was his little like i don't know lessons in life to you is there like a phrase that he would say or you know or a, a message or even yeah. from your mum as well from you know either of them i think um it's it's you know it's, it's my parents are opposites my dad is a workaholic and my mom loves to party so it's like you know literally they are opposites yeah. and what i understood over the years is that i'm going to take the best of both mix it and become what i have to become <laughs> like shoot <laughs> so what i learned from my dad was what i i kind of been saying this since in almost every interview that whatever you do give your best and leave the rest like don't get attached to the outcome of the project because sometimes it's going to work out sometimes it's not going to work out for you so don't get attached to it but you give your best so that you don't regret later in life that oh i took it too lightly or i took it you know too um, i took it too casually sort of a thing so that's one thing i really kind of love that about him and that links to what you said earlier about not chasing things or wanting them too much like you do your best whatever's going to be is going to yeah, be absolutely. if you if you think but well, what if it goes wrong what if this happens da, 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 then it will you done your thing then you let it go absolutely yeah that's like me so you know that's one thing i've really realized from him and i've taken that and for my mom i think that side of me wherein i want to travel i want to go to the spa i want to party that's like you know okay fine so i've got now i need to just pamper myself now i need wow. to shop Oh, we're frozen again. Sorry, we just you said you've pampered yourself and now you just want to shop. Was that I, I missed the end of it? Ah. My mom, that you kind of there's one life you you should not crib too much. Be grateful and uh, be a nice human being and enjoy your life because you know I've been here to come here sort of a thing. But you see, well, I tell you what you've got. as well from them both of them cuz i think your mum's got one of the most infectious laughs ever you know when some people laugh my sister yeah. laughs like that uh, where they laugh and you know about it the whole room knows <laughs> like, like that like you know what i mean but your whole family are only ever one second away from laughing their heads off at something or another that's going to make everybody crack up yeah uh, which is which is lovely which is what a lovely state to be in all the time just be on the v- No, she is like that. She is like that. She is, and I, I mean, um, yeah. So I have just taken the. Good- <laughs> oh, we just cut. I see that you said. So you've just taken. Yeah. So so basically, what I've I personally done is that I've just taken the best of them, and I've just been me, <laughs> sort of a thingy. This is I'm- me. This it's like a science experiment. It's like Jurassic Park. You've taken the DNA from from the T-Rex, the, the T-Rex that is your dad and yeah. and the really and the cuddly cute funny one that's another dinosaur that's your mom and you get ah yeah. let's make this and new I, one. Yeah, it's like the Powerpuff Girls made. 
It's a, it's a good way to be. Uh, <laughs> Tina, listen, I could talk to you all day long. I absolutely adore you. Uh, I think I think you're great. I think you've got a real sparkle and a real natural energy about you. And I, and I loved having you on the podcast. So thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank right. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. You. When you're in London, we're hooking up, all right? We're getting together 100%. when you're in London. For sure. Deal. Thank See you then. You. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, I need to ask you to make sure you have hit the subscribe button and you are listening to these podcasts regularly. So if they're on YouTube, you're watching this now, huh? Lucky you. You get to see my face uh, as well as hear the voice. Um, please do hit the bell button and, and hit the subscribe thing and get involved with the whole channel so you can stay up to date with what's going on. It really does make a difference for us. We then know where our subscribers are the kind of episodes you're listening to, and then I can give you more of that kind of stuff, more of the good stuff. You want more good stuff? Hit subscribe to this podcast right now and follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Just go find the Tommy Sander podcast and welcome it into your life.